What is going on my guys? Welcome back to my channel. I am Garrett with Game of the Beach. We are doing another challenge, which is playing the most common deck in the game, which is probably also the least common deck in the game. If you guys know what I mean. So basically, all my cards in this deck are commons. I'm looking at it right now, looking at the Wi-Fi bars. Looking at my deck, it is not a pretty looking deck. I am super unsure if we're going to be able to get any wins in this video, but we're going to try our best. We're going to try our utmost. Let me break down how we did it. So we've got Cold Mage and Bombardier. Those are two of the best supports, support cards in the game. Throw them in there. I also got Poisoner in there. Poisoner is probably the most meta damage card that I have. That's a common and then I also have Rogue, who's kind of overlooked, but some people play him and say he's kind of decent. The last card, I don't even know this card's name. It's like the Hunter. Is it the Hunter? Is that what it is? I've never played with the Hunter in my deck before. I have. I, I know it does like increased damage to the first the first shot that it takes. I think everything in my deck is like a level. 11 or a 10 or something 10 or 11 and then I think the hunter is like a level like six maybe uh, So it's definitely gonna be an uphill battle. We're going up against Harlequin Dryad, Inquis, Bombardier and Knight Statue Very common deck Knight Statue maybe is a little bit different than we're used to seeing which also I, I should probably put out a video about Knight Statue just because it's such an interesting card and I'd love to have that be one of the focal points of our video so maybe i'll do that in the future before i jump into the rest of this game make sure if you guys are enjoying these videos that you subscribe but let's see what rogue can do so rogue i think is going to kind of be the cornerstone to our success so if you guys don't know rogue's damage is dictated by how high your critical rating is in your home screen so my critical damage is something like 900 or 950 or something like that so i i think it hits between like zero and 950 every time which i don't think that's even that much damage um but kind of a unique it's a unique card it's unique rogue is one of those cards that i think at some point with like the proper buff it could be really really good but as of right now it's it's not super strong, and uh, maybe we'll do enough to to win. I mean, the idea of having Bombardier and Cold Mage in there is basically to just try, and if we at all can, just last longer than the opponent and uh, and see, see if we can win that way. I'm going to try and combine out everything that's pretty much not... I'm always going to combine out my Hunters, because I think they're just too wildly underleveled. If I have too many Cold Majors or... or Bombardiers, which we're kind of close to that right now. I'm definitely going to combine that, those out as well. And uh, and, and we're going to see what, what's going to happen. If you guys haven't checked out the last video that I did like this, I did the rarest deck in the game. That deck was actually pretty good. Um, and I remember looking during that video, like what types of decks I could make in terms of all the same suit and I was not impressed. All commons is kind of tough. Honestly, I could do all epics. I feel like all epics would be tough as well. We got 20 seconds till Warlock. Let's try and survive for 15 seconds as long as we can just to see how much damage we can do with our Snowflake. And, uh, and we should be okay. We might take a hit by this mini boss. We did not, so that's really good. And, uh... I don't think we're going to take out this Warlock, but we'll try to combine out best of our ability. We don't have... There's no mana production in common cards. That's another thing that's kind of bizarre. Oh, I didn't get that switch. Come on, I felt good about that switch. So, Hunters should be, like, terrible against bosses. The first hit does damage, the, and then the rest of them are just not. So, Hunter would be just useless against anything. Oh, come on, come on, dude. I'm making these switches. I'm just a little slow. But our damage is so, so low. I figured I'd try this out and just see what it would look like. And it's almost as as if, um, and we kind of talked about this. So card levels matter a lot. 
or card levels don't really matter. It's more about the card than the card levels. Even less about the suits. Even like legendary cards are super, super powerful, as we know. Is he gonna just keep taking away? My goodness, that's the problem with having so much slow and stun. He's hitting. He's hit so many of our units, um, and there's no chance we're gonna take it out. But at least we got our snowflake back. That's like the one positive. Don't hit me again. Just, just leave us alone. I haven't made a single switch. Oh my goodness. Uh, now we gotta go up against Gorgon. We have no mana. We lost half of our board to that mean warlock. But yeah, for, for the best example I have for this is if I were to try to play an all common deck in Clash Royale, you could do it. You could make a deck of pretty much any suit and you could find some sort of success. I'm playing with all commons. There's barely even a primary damage dealer. It's it's Rogue or Poisoner, and neither of which are really in the meta. So you got some support cards, but don't you think you should have everything under the sun in terms of a damage unit, a support card, all the all the different types of units you should have in all the different suits, right? I mean, I think that would make sense. Because then, what the heck are you supposed to use if you only have damage units? There's a big fat L. I'm probably not doing this at the best time of the season either because we're up at 5,700 and now we're playing with this silly deck and I don't expect to win at all. Um, but yeah, if you are in lower trophies and you don't have any legendaries and all the cards that you have access to are common cards... What are you gonna, how are you supposed to win games? You can support nothing but like you know what i'm trying i mean I, i'm sure you guys know what i'm talking about but that's why everyone's in such a mad rush to get inquisitor to get boreas to get whatever you know even if like you get to epic cars plague doctor is really good uh at some point i don't even know what engineer is is engineer rare is it a common it's not a common well it's is it a rare or a epic i'm not even sure but there's not a single i don't know let me know how rogue is at like 3,000 trophies. Is Rogue, like, overpowered? Is it really, really good? I can't imagine, because... And it's even the word... Like, the idea of Rogue is really, really cool, but it's so backwards, because the only time Rogue... It's a common card. Just listen to this. It's a common card. So, yes, you do have a damage dealer as a common, but the only time that it would be good is if you have a high critical rating, which if you are needing a common card to do damage, you're not going to have a high critical rating. So no matter what, you're not going to be doing high damage. What the, What's the point of having Rogue? Have Rogue be a legendary card that's just like really good if you have a crazy high critical rating. And then have like a Boreas or something as, as a common. Something that actually, you know, works. It's pretty silly. It's pretty silly. Uh, we're leveling up our poisoner. We got a bunch of poisoners, so let's keep going there. This guy's running rogue too. We have a shot. If we can win this game, okay, he's still running, you know, Harlequin, Summoner, uh, and you know, Priestess or whatever. But I didn't think we'd run into somebody going going with rogue. He's running alchemist. I'm running poisoner. Both could definitely be said. You know, good things can be said about either. So. Not the end of the world. We got Tamer in 10 seconds. We have a shot this game. But let me know what you guys think about these common cards and how there's not one type of card in each level or tier, right? So like I'm saying, in common, you should have a, a great damage dealer. You should have a good support unit. You should have a good mana production. There's no mana production in common cards. None. How is that possible? There's got to be something. I mean, maybe they'll just add in some cards, but... Like, that's crazy to me. Let's just keep combining these guys out, I guess. You know, if you look at most of the effective damage dealers, they're all legendary cards, which is fine. But it's not ideal. Okay, we got a little rank 3 poisoner right there. Don't mind that at all. We got Warlock. Oof. Warlock is pretty bad for us. We, we saw it in the last one, and Warlock was really, really tough. So let's get our Poisoner up one time. 
see if we can hold on as soon as we get to like 200 250 for mana that we need a, a, to get a new unit on our board we start running into trouble because we just don't have that much mana production But I mean, I feel like the combination with Rogue and Poisoner should be okay, you know, because I'm just going to do my Poisoner because we have so many. Because Rogue hits the frontmost unit, it can do high damage. Poisoner is, you know, it's support, so it, it does damage over time, does a little bit of AoE, splash, whatever you want to call it. Let's do this now just to try and get a little bit ahead. Last two things right there there and for 15 seconds we're just going to try and build up our mana a little bit and try not to die but they're getting pretty far I'm, i'll be interested to see what the stats are like after this game because we are going super poisoner heavy but yikes it's not it's still not looking good still not looking i think my poisoner is either 10 or 11 so it's not too too bad let's try to actually make switches this time we are pausing it, but again, that's not really that great because... Okay. Finally, I made a switch. Warlock, it heals more than we're doing damage, even though we're slowing it down, like, a lot. If he could take a hit, that would be incredible. Let's try and make another switch. We gotta survive the next wave, and then maybe we can win at the boss. That's the only way we're going to win this game. We're down below 400. I'm trying to make sure that I make a switch up back over 400. We got Snowflake back. He only hit us once because Bombardier's doing weird work. I'm just going to do that. Not for this wave, but for the next one, because the slow and stun's going to be really important. Guys... I don't know if we can hold on for this wave, though. I don't know if we can hold on for this wave. Puppeteer. We just don't have the damage output, fellas. All right, let's combine out. I'm scared. <laughs> He's going fully alchemist right now. He's got barely any rogues on his on his map. Actually, you know what? I shouldn't even say that. I have more. I I have fewer rogues on my map than than his. Oh boy, here they come. We just have to hold on long enough. Come on, Cold Mage, do work. We gotta hold on for 45 seconds. Poisoners, build up, Poisoners. We got. I'm gonna combine out here. Another there. Okay, we got more Cold Mages, that's good. 30 seconds, dude. Do you think we could hold on for 30 seconds? Mmm. I don't think we'll be able to get through this guy. He's going to pause, but I'm going to be able to pause too. He paused. Let's pause. Oh, but he doesn't have any more units like close to his board. We have to take out this clump. Six seconds. Oh my gosh, it's close. Three, two, one. Oh, what? Oh, it's because we already got hit by the boss. Oh. We were so close. Let's jump into one more battle just to finish off this challenge. And that's exactly what it is, right? It's a challenge. It shouldn't be easy. Try it out. Guys, give it a go. If you have a better assortment of common cards, let me know. Now we're going up against a Shaman deck. This is going to be super ugly because we're not going to be able to combine out at all. I'm just going to hit him with the Mallard because he already knows. He already knows. We got Rogues. Give this challenge a a try and let me know how you guys do <laughs> this is just this is gonna be a slaughter right here I can already tell you but that is what this game is about right fellas we can do some trophy pushing we have plenty of time to do some trophy pushing I haven't had a chance to merge anybody out yet there we go there's one okay we made one merge we got bedlam couple uh okay we can merge there okay we're not too in too too bad we made a couple of merges better than when we were going up against warlock and that other one uh couldn't do anything there 
Let's get our poisoner up. Oh, I forgot to look at the stats again. Shoot, I wanted to see the stats of what we were doing, but I, I tapped through too bad. That's what happens when you lose. You're just like, I don't want to, I don't want to see it. I want to just spam through. But I love doing these types of challenges, even if I do them at poor timing, because if I did this at 4,000 trophies, obviously I'd have a better chance of, at getting, at finding some Ws. But if I do find a win at like 6,000 trophies, that's pretty funny. I mean, that's pretty cool. So I wish we were going up against the purely um, Shaman spam deck without Engineer, because he's going to be able to output more damage than us. Uh, and he's going to bother us so super, super a, a lot. So there isn't really anything that we can hold on to. The problem with having slow and stun, which is I feel like the only way you're going to be able to win these types of games is just to hold out longer than the other team. The problem with that is that you have to still be able to output damage. If you're slowing, like you can't just be the first monster that comes on the board. You can't just slow that monster down the entire wave and and win and and not kill it you know what i mean you, you're gonna have to kill like half of them i think we'll be able to take this guy out though bedlam is a good call for us bedlam's a great call against him great pull great call whatever you want to say all right all right okay he did take it out um and he got his board looking good again but wasn't terrible for us just keep on merging it's only a matter of time, that's the only problem. A little left-handed merge right there with the coffee. Um, good. Uh, not good. Okay, we got a rogue. Let's try and level him up. We still have a bunch of slow. He does have a rank 4 and 3 shaman. Right where he might want to put some engineers, so... Cap this video off against beating a Shaman deck? I mean, come on, that would be amazing. Losing to the most common deck in the world. We were super close in that last battle. We were super, super close. Let me know. I'm super interested to see what you guys would put in this deck instead of whatever. Um, I honestly, the, oh my gosh. Fellas, that is a victory. What I was about to say is Rogue poisoner let's look at the stats bombardier and cold mage i was pretty sold on i was like okay they're gonna be in the deck i don't know what the last card in my deck i had no other i literally have no other choice of what to, i could put in normal archer which is probably like the worst card in the game i mean it, it's good if you like ramp it up but the only way you're going to ramp it up is if you can merge a lot and if you have dryad which of course those are legendary cards so I'm super interested to see what you guys would put in this deck and what you guys think about my thoughts, how there's not a damage in a mana production, all these different cards. Don't you think there should be all these different card types in each card card rarity? Let me know what you think, but that's going to be the end of this YouTube video, guys. If you enjoyed, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will check you guys out in tomorrow's video.